Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to Syntax Technologies. Today, we're going to discuss about SQL Accounting System Training, Backup and Restore. Let's get started. Before you are able to do backup or restore, the first thing that you need to do is go to your computer. And for my own practice, I'll create a folder under the C drive, right click, create a new folder, call it SQL Backup, close it, log into your SQL Accounting software, go to File, Backup Database. Over here, you can see, here is where you can set up your backup folder. What you need to do is go to Backup Tool, click the plus sign, select Local Storage. Do not select Add Cloud Storage. This Cloud Storage is SQL Cloud Storage. You need to subscribe to it and not your Google Drive or not your Dropbox or any other Cloud Storage. Only SQL Cloud Storage. Click Add Local Storage. Select the folder that you just created, C Drive, SQL Backup, select folder, done. So, every time when you want to backup a database, just go to File, Backup Database, click Backup, done. All SQL Backup files will come with your company name and also the date of your backup. If the same day you backup few times, you will get few backup files. It will not replace it. Please remember, after backup to your C drive, do send a copy to a pen drive or USB drive and unplug from your computer. At least you should have two backup files per day. Because if anything happened to your computer, there's still one more backup file available. If you do not have any backup and your computer corrupt or your SQL corrupt, then there's no way for us to retrieve back the information for you and you need to key in back everything from day one. To restore a database, what you need to do is open SQL, do not log in, click the small icon, click restore and look for the backup file directory. You can retrieve back from your pen drive or from your local hard disk. Let's say I go back to C drive, I look for SQL backup and I can restore back this backup file. Click OK. Remember, do not use the database file name default. Just put your company name, example syntax, and the day you restore. Let's say 2025-0105. Why? It's because the restoration, when you restore the backup file, the system actually will create another same database because after restore, system will have two company, same details. The way for us to recognize the differentiation is just by the database name. And for the hard copy, C drive, eStream, SQL accounting, DB, if we are not able to access SQL, and the only way for us to recognize is by looking at the database name over here. So you go into the restore file, Check all your transaction and make sure this is correct. If it is correct, normally what you should do is go to File, Company Profile, put a new remark, let's say 20250105, as this is the latest, save it, close it, go to File, log on, go back to the small icon because we know that this is the latest version, everything is correct, and for the old one, do not delete it, but we drop database link. Right click, drop database link. Else, if you do not do this step, what will happen is you have two identical selection and sometimes you may make mistake or your colleague may make mistake where he key in into the old one, you key in into the new one and all the data is in mess. So that's why go back to the small icon, right click the old version, Drop database link. Remember, do not delete a database. After drop database link, you will not able to select the old version, but in actual, the physical database, eStream, SQL Accounting, DB, is not deleted. So you are able to retrieve back if you want to by go back to here, find database, and you can retrieve back. 
This is how you do backup and restore SQL accounting software database. If you want to purchase SQL accounting system or site support maintenance, please contact us directly. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. See you in the next video. Thank you.